The SaaS version of Business Central is always evolving. One area that's improved as of BC19 is how we work with our templates for customers, vendors, and items. The changes here make customizing new and existing templates even easier. In the past, we may have dealt with the templates, configuration templates, or even contact conversion templates pages. These are now unified under a customer, vendor, and item templates page when we're creating and editing templates. We now have separate template pages for our customers, vendors, and items. In this example, we'll take a look at customer templates. Be able to access any of our existing templates just by clicking the codes for the relevant template in question. But we'll be able to see our default display has a little bit more on it than it did in the past. With this expanded look at the customer template, I'm able to much more mimic a customer card when creating my templates. On top of this as well, there's additional functionality for when creating a new template. If I click new from our customer templates page, and give our template a code. I can use the copy template functionality to select an existing template and bring through their information into this new one. This will pre-fill any of the fields for our template, saving us the effort. I can then customize this as required for the fields I would like to appear on this template when I'm creating a customer, vendor, or an item. When now converting a contact into a customer or a vendor, the options we'll have for a template when converting will be available to us depending on a template's contact type. Company type contacts will have company contact type templates available when converting, and person types will have person type templates available. So we set our available templates for conversions here. If we wish to set dimensions for our templates, we can do so just by clicking dimensions in the top left hand corner. We can just set these as required. With our template now created, when we now go to create a new customer, just clicking new across the top of our customers list, a new template is offered here for us. which when selected, we're filling the information on that template into our customer card. Now let's take a look at the vendor templates. Just search for a vendor template this time. If I open up one of these particular templates, and if I want to edit this particular template for a field that's actually not on here right now, I can add in that field, set up for the template easily. All I have to do is personalize this page. And I can do that by going up to the cog wheel in the upper right hand corner, clicking personalize, and I can then just click plus field to add the field in onto this card. If you can't see the plus field option, make sure you've selected more like so here. I can then search for the field that I'd like to include on this template and drag and drop it in. For example, if I'd like to include a prepayment percent, I can open a fast tab that suits this and drag and drop from the right hand side into the area I'd like it to go. And this will now be accessible on my template for me to fill in, which will then flow through to our created vendors in this case. Just make sure to select done when you're finished. And this field is now ready to use. Finally, let's see how contact conversion works with this. If we have a contact, we can convert them into a customer or a vendor. Perhaps once they're verified and we're ready to do business with them. The templates available to us when we're converting a contact into one of these entities will differ depending on the contact type. Our companies are the company options, while those of the person type will have the person options. Let's see this in action by going to our contacts page, searching for the contact we want to use, And now, when I go to Actions, Functions, Create As, and I choose Vendor, for example, only those company types will be available to me because we have a company type contact. Since the templates used when creating a new record or converting a contact are now shared, we suggest using a clear naming structure to make it obvious which ones of these should only be used for converting contacts. 
Here in this example, we use Z and underscore at the start of our code. This ensures they sort to the bottom when sorting on code. And we're also pairing that with a description that makes it clear the use of these are only to be used in contact conversions, not when creating new records. And that's how we can use, as well as the changes to templates within Business Central.